the USD price has suddenly turned around and dropped sharply in recent weeks, completely opposite to the fever in the first two quarters of the year. However, according to experts, the greenback price is difficult to predict, so businesses with payment and borrowing activities related to foreign currencies need to apply risk prevention measures. USD price drops sharply. On September 13, banks continued to reduce the USD price by another 20 VND. Vietcombank bought at 24,360 to 24,390 VND and sold at 24,730 VND. ACB bought at 24,350 to 24,380 VND and sold at 24,710 VND. BIDV bought at 24,375 VND and sold at 24,715 VND. Compared to the peak price in July, the USD price of banks has decreased by about 800 VND, equivalent to 3.1%. Commercial banks have had a day when they sharply reduced the USD price by nearly 0.5%. On the interbank market, the USD price traded between banks also dropped to 24,565 VND USD, down 3.5% from the peak at the end of June, equivalent to 900 VND USD. The sharpest decline was on the free market, losing nearly 1,100 VND USD from the record high reached at the end of June at 26,080 VND USD equivalent to a loss of 4.1%. The free USD buying price on the afternoon of September 13 fell to 24,930 VND for buying and 25,025 VND for selling down 60 VND USD on September 13. In the first two weeks of September, the USD VND exchange rate continued its downward trend over the past two months. Thanks to the 3% decrease in the exchange rate in the past three months, the VND has only depreciated by about 1% against the USD since the beginning of the year, in contrast to the period of tension over the rapidly increasing exchange rate in the second quarter, up to nearly 5% compared to the end of last year. The current foreign exchange market developments are completely opposite to the feverish exchange rate in the first two quarters of the year. Especially in the context that from August to September, the state bank SBV continuously pumped a large amount of net money into the market but the USD price still fell sharply. In the first three trading days of September from September 4 to 6, the SBV pumped a net of VND 23,664 billion equivalent to nearly 1 billion US dollars into the market. After several days of no trading, the SBV pumped a net of more than VND 439 billion again in the open market on September 13. Mr. Ngo Dang Koa, Director of Foreign Exchange, Capital Markets and Securities Services, HSBC Vietnam, said that this development came from both external and internal factors. In the international financial market, the USD has continuously weakened in the context of U.S. economic data supporting the U.S. Federal Reserve Fed to start a roadmap to cut interest rates. Specifically, the USD index has fallen to the 101 point area, the lowest level since the beginning of the year. HSBC Global Research predicts that the Fed will cut interest rates by 0.25% in September and a total of 0.75% this year. In addition, Domestic macroeconomic indicators show a more positive and even recovery among industry groups, creating an abundant source of foreign currency in the market. According to the General Statistics Office, the export turnover of goods in the first eight months of 2024 increased by 14.5% over the same period last year, bringing the total export value for the year to $265.09 billion US dollars up 15.8% over the same period last year and the trade surplus in the first eight months reached US$19.07 billion. In addition, 
the total registered and implemented foreign investment capital in Vietnam both achieved impressive increases of 20.52 billion US dollars and 14.15 billion US dollars, respectively, up 7% and 8% over the same period last year. These are all factors that help increase the supply of foreign currency in the country. Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Hu Huan, Ho Chi Minh City University of Economics, added that another reason for the decrease in the USD price is seasonal factors. This is the period when export goods are abundant after orders are completed during the peak summer season. Furthermore, the state bank proactively increased interbank interest rates to limit exchange rate speculation and the expectation that the Fed would cut interest rates also weakened the USD. In addition, the gold market is currently quiet, with few buyers, so the exchange rate pressure for gold market intervention is not too great.